what's up everybody so i just got in the new samsung galaxy s21 ultra i wanted to take you guys along with me through my first 24 hours of checking out this new device but rather than reading through a bunch of spec sheets that you already know about i wanted to show you everything firsthand about everything new from the new and improved cameras to do 120 hertz screen plus many more of the new features that the s21 ultra has to offer and so yeah without further ado let's get out there and check it out So the first thing I want to check out is the camera, but before that I need to make a quick stop by UPS because I need to trade in my old S9 Plus. I use the Samsung trade-in program, so this baby will be heading back to Samsung. At least I can say it's been a great three years, but unfortunately all good things must come to an end. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Okay, now that we have that done, I'm actually going to rent a Divi bike so that we can head to the Chicago Lakefront, which will be a perfect opportunity to test out the new camera. And so yeah, here you can see that the screen gets plenty bright, which really comes in handy in situations where you need to scan things like QR codes or just use your phone in bright direct sunlight. So yeah, we're about halfway to the Lakefront Trail, and I just had to stop and admire this beautiful Chicago skyline, and also take a few beauty shots of the S21 Ultra. And alright, we made it, we're here to the Lakefront. And here's where I really want to put the new camera to the test. There's a lot of things that are far away, so I want to test out the new 10x zoom, 30x zoom, and 100x zoom. But first, here's a video and some snapshots from the standard 108 megapixel lens. Here's the 10x zoom, the 30x zoom, and the 100x moonshot zoom. So you can see here it's not the greatest quality, but for 100 times it's not bad. And for reference, here's the non-zoom standard distance. And for another trial, here's a few more shots from the different zoom lenses. and also some video from the different zoom lenses. And one interesting thing to note is for the zoom videos, the stabilizing is actually pretty decent, especially at 100X zoom. But one thing to keep in mind is when zoomed in at that distance, one little minor movement will make a big swivel in what you're looking at. And next up, we got some macro shots. And for this macro shot, my lens is practically touching this silver railing here. So the focal distance is really, really good. And because I also have my RF 35mm macro lens on my Canon EOS R, I took a couple of pics to compare with the macro lens of the S21 Ultra. Alright, enough of the Chicago Lakefront. I actually need to head out because I need to catch my train because I need to do a few more things. And so yeah, let's head out. And so yeah, because I live in Chicago, I use the public transportation quite a lot. From paying for trains and buses, to requesting Ubers and Lyfts, I use my phone quite a lot to get around town. And so for me, it's really important to have really good battery life on a phone. Because the last thing you need is to be stuck somewhere, or need to be somewhere important. But your phone is dead, so you have no means of transportation. And so far, I can say that the battery life on the S21 Ultra is looking pretty good so far, to which I am running it at 120Hz and 1440p at the same time. So I really like to test even longer to see how the battery life can really be. But for now, it's definitely getting the job done. And we made it. And here, I'm going to stop and get some Taco Bell because I am starving. And also one thing I wanted to try out was the contactless payments because in case you haven't heard, Samsung actually got rid of MST and their Samsung Pay, which means you can no longer use your Samsung phones at the old terminals that only had the magnetic strips, which unfortunately is a huge setback of the S21s. To which if you want more details about this, you can actually check out a video I made on this shortly after the S21 reveal right up here. Oh yeah, got the food. And because it's Taco Bell, you know I had to get that Baja Blast. It's time to get home and get eaten. So yeah guys, that'll do it for my first 24 hours with the S21 Ultra. 
I showed you around the new camera, screen, battery life, all that good stuff. So yeah, if you have the S21 Ultra or plan on picking it up, let me know what's your favorite feature down below in the comments. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you out. But for now, that'll do it for this one. Thanks for stopping by. Peace.